All right, so first up on what we powder today, we have uh, some buckets here for dear old grandma. Uh, these are the colors she picked out, wanted to do some fades, didn't really care too much, so I did a, a horizontal fade here, um, and then did more of a vertical one on this one. I'm not as happy with this bucket as I am with this one. This one I think looks pretty good, this one, eh. But I'm sure she'll like them, so. Uh, these are the buckets we coated and then I also coated all right, and the other thing we powdered uh, Five more sample pieces here, so that is what we powdered today We're flipping rolls this morning. Zoe's making me breakfast. This is great What are we having? I was just about to do something. I can't remember. Okay. I think we're in sausage and eggs. Yeah All right, what's up everybody? Wednesday morning here. Gonna be another warm one. Um, it's pretty early still. I think it's like 8.30 or something is all. So I'm gonna try to, uh, I was supposed to ride yesterday. I didn't because it was just way too damn hot. So I'm gonna try to get some riding in this morning um, before it gets too hot. But I wanna ride the figure eight and I need to prep it. So I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go try to break that up a little bit so that it's easier to ride, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll do some regular work stuff after that. <sighs> okay, so as you can see, we've had no rain for a couple of weeks now. And out here, this pretty much turns into concrete, so... I need to break this up a little bit. I have an idea. Have no fear, I have an idea. All right, cool. So life of a uh, motocrosser here. It's prepped now, got it tilled up, broke up, so. <sighs> Looks pretty good. Now the only thing to do is ride it, so we'll get our motos in here real quick so we can get to actual work for the day. Okay, it's really hot out. Uh, first session went pretty good. Um, it was nice having that dirt broke up, that's for sure, as opposed to riding on concrete. Uh, was I definitely feel a lot better than I have in the first few times I rode it. Um, partially could be the dirt. Uh, the other part could be that I am actually making some improvements because I do make those from time to time. So, uh, yeah. Um, when I film this stuff, I usually film the end of the ride. So you guys are seeing basically the worst of the worst. When I'm tired, when I'm hot, after I've been riding for usually at least like 10 minutes. Um, so I didn't feel too bad most of the time I was riding there. Uh, I was dropping, I was actually, I could feel myself probably about midway through before I started filming, actually dropping in the rut leg super high like up over the um the uh yeah radiator and like actually dropping in um lean angle is a lot greater at least for me than what it usually is so uh it's good it's good making improvements which is all we can ask for you know you make improvements every single day and you keep going and you just try to get better and better every single time you ride so uh we're gonna ride one more time and then the goal for this morning before we go to the gym this afternoon is to get grandma's buckets powdered um, for her flowers and to get one set of test shots done. Cause I still have a lot of powder to go through. Let's be honest. There's a lot of boxes back here still that haven't like, some of these are filled with stuff I've already sorted, but like from like here back is still fresh stuff. So, um, so yeah, get one set done this morning, try to get one set done tonight after the gym. So it's kind of how I break my day up, pre-gym, post-gym. So that's the goal here, and we'll see how that goes. But it should go fairly well, I think. I think I should be able to pull it off. I got the oven preheating here, so we'll take about a half hour, 45 minute break, and then we'll ride again, and then, yeah, we'll, do, we'll bust right into powder after that, so. So 
second motor was done. You know, I never really understood the old adage like when in doubt throttle out up until that moto. It's kind of like they say, um, or well, what I try to do, I try to learn something new every single time I ride. Even when I race and like I'm trying to actually go out and do decent, it's like I'm still trying to learn something with technique, something to make my riding better. So what I learned that time is, and I'm sure a lot of you out there probably know this, um, when you start getting deep into the rut, and you feel like you're gonna fall over to the inside and dab, instead of doing that, if you just give yourself some throttle, it pulls you through the rut. Um, which probably I've been told before, but it just has never really clicked. Like you can tell me a lot of stuff, but until I actually do it a lot of times, I can't really, it doesn't click for me. So, um, anywho, was a good second moto. Went 15 minutes again. I can tell that I'm getting better. A, I'm carrying more speed through the corners. B, um, when I ride, I get to, uh, like when I first started riding this year, I get to like five, six minutes and I would just be tight and I couldn't barely hold on. Now it's like I get to almost like 12, 13 minutes before I start getting tight and I go, man, you know, how much longer do I have? So it's good. We're making, you know, definite strides and improvements. Um, so yeah, so that, uh, that pretty much handles the riding portion of today. I got to change the oil in that bad boy because she's been between two and three hours now. And I'm going to go change my clothes and start getting on to some of this powder sorting. exercise here we're doing uh, some uh, lap pull downs on the light fitness machine doing super lightweight or we're doing sets of 50 and we're basically just burning out we're doing sets of 50 till I can't do them anymore so do this and then we'll get back into abs we already did 150 reps of uh, leg lifts in the king's chair and I did my three one minute uh, planks already so I've got 850 reps to go as far as abs go. Piece of cake, no problem. Yeah. I don't know if you did. You told me to talk about something else, but yeah, it's pretty good though for like. Alright, so just got done at the gym here. Uh, killed it pretty good. I've been here for a long ass time. Um, but the uh, food finally ran out in my belly, so it's time to go home. I got some. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. Say hello to the vlog. All right, great. I've been here for like four hours. I gotta go home. No, no, I've been working out, man. Uh, so anywho, uh, yeah, I got some beef. I gotta cook up and. Uh, then me and my brother, I think, are going to work on doing some organization stuff in the garage. He's got some uh, saws he wants to move up to the front and stuff. So I'm going to try to do some of that here. Give it like another hour or so, though, till it cools down. There's there's rain coming in. So it'll, uh, it'll actually get a little cooler here. So that'll be good. So anywho, homeward bound. Going to cook some shit up. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. End of the vlog time here. Uh, found out I'm not working with the old man tomorrow, so I'm gonna make some to-do reminders on my sticky notes here. Um, I have a to-do list in the garage for tomorrow too, so that I kind of have a direction to go with things. Because uh, otherwise, sometimes what happens is I get off on tangents, and then it's just it's all over the place. But anyway, um, so I've been watching Shark Tank, and it reminds me a lot of like those house hunter. DIY shows like okay you watch like house hunters or something like that and these people are like well 
I'm a school teacher and he works part-time at Home Depot and we want this, this, and this in a house and our budget's three million dollars. What? How, how is that even possible? And then like, you watch the Shark Tank and these people are like, we want $500,000 for 10% of the company and blah, 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 whatever. And then they start asking him questions like, how long have you been in business for? And they're like, oh, we've been in business for 10 years, okay. How many, what's your customer base? Uh, 2,000 people. What? What? That's, that, uh, uh, um, uh, it's like 200 people a year. That's not even a person a day. And then they're like, well, what did you gross? And they're like, oh, we haven't made any money yet. What? So you're valuing your company at $5 million and you haven't made a dime yet? Do you know how this business thing works? How does... I don't know. It blows my mind. The idiocy, idiocracy of people sometimes is just... I mean, I don't consider myself to be an overly smart person. Like, don't get me wrong. I didn't go to business school. I didn't do any of that stuff. But some of these people, I'm just like, holy crap. Like, I could sit here all day and come up with ideas and be like, hey, you should give me half a million bucks because we. I think we can do this, this, and this. Like, I can write numbers on a page, too. Until you have, like, hard data of, like, hey, you're going to actually sell this much. But if you had this many more people or whatever, then you could sell this much. Like... How do, you, how do you even ask for something like that? I don't know, blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. I mean, I have a couple different businesses right now that are rather small scale that I'm working on building by myself, which is fine. Um, you know, and those will continue to be small scale. I have no uh, plans of the couple of businesses, the powder coating, the online stuff I'm doing right now. Um, I have no plans of taking those, you know, beyond a small, very small, you know, business. Um, now I do have other, another business that I've been working on for years in the family entertainment area, um, that I do have an idea of taking that more big time. Um, but again, right now there's no funding for it. There's no capital for it. It's all just ideas and numbers on paper. And at some point I'll have to start somewhere. Um, but right now is not the time to start that for me personally I'm not in that spot in my life and I know everyone uses the excuse but you know if you have businesses you're working on and you're like hey I can't take another one on right now due to financial reasons I don't have the time and energy right now because I need to focus on these other ones to be able to get myself off the ground and then you know ideally I want to use these to build the businesses I have right now to build capital to start the other the family entertainment business um so yeah so we'll work towards that so uh that's it for the vlog today uh tomorrow we'll make some more moves and get some more stuff ready and yeah keep keep on rolling here so thanks for tuning in we'll see everybody tomorrow